yo yo what's up curry gang come on then you know what i'm saying make sure you hit that like button just want to get into a couple of responses uh about this diddy's uh case and all that a lot more people came out you know responded to it spoke on it or whatever so we have mr ray j tmz ran up on ray j and and you know they asked him about diddy you know uh <laughs> Ray J is the official uh, De Leon, you know what I mean? De Leon gang, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into Ray J's response um, to uh, them asking about Diddy. Because, you know, he's still, you know, he's friends with Diddy. But, you know, behind the scenes friends now because they don't even know which way this situation is going to go with this man. So let's get into this real quick. Like Stevie J say something, you know, in defense of Diddy. And all of those people who are his quote unquote, you know, that that's his people, you know, that's his friends, you know, are hesitant. Maybe do you think they're hesitant to say something because, you know, whatever could happen to them, because, you know, there's, there's subpoenas going out, there's this, there's that. Do you think that's what's happening? You, you know, or, or is there another reason why other people aren't speaking out in his defense? I think a lot of people are just trying to understand it understand what is and what's not you know it's still a big question mark uh pray for everybody though prayers go up for everybody only all right so ray j saying you know he don't know which way they gonna go with this um but he's praying you know saying praying pray for everybody um yeah we don't know which direction they gonna take this we don't we don't know if this nigga gonna get charged with criminal charges or yeah, you know I mean, more lawsuits gonna keep coming out, or they just gonna keep this shit in the media to keep us distracted from from real stuff that's going on. You know what I'm saying? We we don't know, man. We don't know what what, what they gonna go with this situation. So I wanted to hop into this Candace Owens um video real quick, where she was breaking down uh some guy named Fahim Muhammad, which I had to look up, um, which Little Rod named in his uh paperwork as the cleanup man. So it's like any, you know, any issues did he got far as like, yeah, you know I mean, far as like if criminal wise, if somebody had to, you know, had to make somebody disappear or had to clean up someone else mess or whatever, he's like the cleanup guy, sort of like Jeffrey was on uh, the new Fresh Prince of Bel Air, the Bel Air um, series. Um, Jeffrey played one of those cleanup guys in the new series of. Uh, Bel Air, or whatever. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick. Oh, my bad. Let me get to... all right. Within those docs, and this is where it gets relevant, there is one man that is named as being the person that can do the cleanups, right? This is the guy that you are supposed to call if you get into any sort of a scenario. So in these docs, it says Mr. Combs instructs his staff to always contact Mr. Muhammad, that is Fahim Muhammad, if they are ever pulled over by the police in Miami or California. And upon information and belief, this is regarding the shooting that took place at Chalice Recording Studios. Again, he is alleging that Diddy and his son shot someone. And after that shooting, the documents say explicitly that Mr. Muhammad spoke with the LAPD after G was shot at the recording studio. The LAPD was in the recording studio and witnessed the blood in the restroom and they went with the bogus claim that the shooting of G occurred outside of the studio. This was all thanks to Mr. Muhammad's connections within law enforcement. All right, so. Damn, so this, so they claiming that this guy Fahim Muhammad is the cleanup man. This man right here, Fahim Muhammad, uh, Little Rod named in his paperwork saying he's the cleanup man for Diddy. So damn, I did so he's saying that he witnessed that Diddy and his son shot somebody in the, in the studio. And that Fahim Muhammad cleared that up with the LAPD. Ah, I, I don't know, man. We we have to see, we have to wait and see, you know, more stuff come out about this. Cause I mean, right now everything is going according to Little Rod's paperwork. Yup. Mr. Combs made it clear that he had the head of security, Fahim. Mr. Muhammad had the power to make people and problems disappear. Yo, this should sound like a movie, bro. Like I told y'all, y'all ever watched the new series, Bel Air? Um, uh, Phil's uh, Jeffrey was that type of guy. 
not not the old Fresh Prince. Y'all know that just the butler, but in the new Fresh Prince, the new Bel Air, Jeffrey was like the cleanup man. Like he made all Phil problems go away. Like if even if Phil had to take it to you know somebody getting murdered, yeah, you know I mean, um, he would go there. He was like the cleanup man, or like Mister Wolf in uh in Pope Fiction, um, Hart the one Harvey Cartel played in Pope Fiction. When they, you know, when they had to clean up the dead body, damn. So they saying, damn, he's they, so he claiming Diddy got hit, man, and yeah, you know I'm saying, and, and niggas like that. So I had to further dig into this Mr. Muhammad nigga, um, and because I, I really didn't know, you know, his circum, you know, who he was, or you know, because he's he's barely on the internet, but it's like videos here and there. So it's a video I found of him, um, gifting his 13 year old son. 40 acres of land for his birthday. Let's go ahead and get into this real quick. Muhammad bought 198 acres out here in Boulevard to get away. It's real quiet. <laughs> yeah, this is not like Chicago, not like LA. <laughs> he lives in Los Angeles and runs a real estate business that buys and rebuilds properties in the south side of Chicago. He says to create a better living situation for the black community there. Based on what's happening with this renovation right now. His company, Oasis Investment Group, even teaches people home ownership. These are people that have had families on government assistance for years, and now they're actually enrolling in courses to learn how to buy their own homes. Fahim says his mom taught he and his siblings how important it is to own your own property and to help their community. So when his son Fahim recently turned 13, he gave him 40 acres. I thought it would be a great opportunity to to teach him a life lesson about the value of land. Fahim Muhammad bought one. All right, so this is the brother of Fahim Muhammad. I guess he's heavy into real estate. Man, he bought 100 and some acres of land and gifted his son 40 acres of that. So I guess he's trying to build new development. So this is the guy they saying Diddy uh, is the um, hitman or, or cleanup man, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens with that as this story develops more. Um, I mean, a little ride got like a a whole like that's a lot of paperwork with this man i think it's like 100 and 170 uh pages of paperwork and um it's a lot so he he was with diddy from 2022 uh, to 2023 and you mean to tell me he witnessed all this all the stuff he said in his paperwork that's crazy so i mean based off the his paperwork i guess the feds is trying to you know track down every you know everything and see and look they probably still looking into everything to see where uh you know where they could match up some of this stuff that little rod saying in his paperwork um and this this is crazy. It's like a damn movie she had to end all this they might as well go ahead and do the damn diddy move the diddy story you know what i'm saying the whole damn diddy movie or whatever so diddy recently posted on his his uh his ig page the victory video you know what I'm saying? and he turned this comment section back on so he had you know he um i don't know i guess he's and he wrote a caption saying bad boy for life so i guess that he's claiming claiming victory over the stuff he's going through because he you know he never really speaks straight up he's always you know with the subliminals and all that but bro you don't get too cocky out here bro don't 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 think you know I mean it's over now. Don't don't get too cocky. You know what I mean? So but of course everybody so every celebrity rushed this uh comment section, giving them props, I'm seeing like genuine, Timbaland, Lady Love, uh the game. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that came here and uh to his comment section. The baller alert, fat boy. You know what I mean, seeing case. So yep, as soon as he opened his uh comment section up, here go, here go all the, ce the celebrities. Uh bum rushing the damn uh comment section. I think his comment section got like over 36,000 comments or something like that. With the with the victory video having like seven million views on it, because as soon as he did it, people bum rushed the damn comment section. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is crazy, bro. They, 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 I can see the Diddy documentary coming soon. Shit, it's probably gonna be a, a few people doing Diddy documentaries. You know what I mean? So it, it's it's rare.
that everybody's speaking on this Diddy situation. So I came across a video on um on all viral access page with Sammy the Bull reacting to the Diddy situation. So if y'all if y'all ain't familiar with Sammy the Bull, he's the one that was the part of the Gotti, the Gambino crew. He was the underboss of John Gotti that eventually turned rat. You know what I'm saying? And ratted on John Gotti. So if y'all I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all might be familiar who Sammy the Bull is, Sammy Gavano. You know what I'm saying? So so let's go ahead and get into this a little bit, man. Wants to know what do you think about the allegations against Sean P. Diddy Combs? I think he has a tremendous headache. I mean, I don't even know. Let me start off with this. I know I was gonna get comments on this. I, I don't know why you make it in life and you get so distorted, you're rich, you this, you that, friends, you're on top of the game. And then you become a weirdo. Why? What does that? I mean, um, and I'll tell you this, I was telling the girls, when the government, a prosecutor, knows what's going on, he's getting complaints or whatever it is, he has information, facts, and he brings it to a magistrate, a federal judge, and he asks for a warrant. You can't come in somebody's house without a warrant. So they not only gave him, they looked at it, the judge, thinking, yeah, yeah, this is heavy shit, and gives you the warrant. Not only a warrant for three places, New York, Miami, and LA. And not only that, not only FBI, Homeland Security, all kinds of agencies getting together, spending a ton of money, going to these houses. And, you know, looking for, he made a lot of tapes and stuff like that. Now, if it's tapes with him and a woman, or him with another guy, so it really don't matter which are sexual preferences, you don't get in trouble for that. Um, but if it's kids, he's dead. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest problem now I see in that case is that how high does this go? Uh, people in Hollywood, people in the music business, uh, wealthy corporate people, um, politicians, friends with Obama. Obama's got a lot of little stakes all over the place. Is Michelle really Michael? I mean, there was a guy who was an Olympic swimmer who was uh, gay and he was uh, a chef for him and he drowns in a bullshit streams. You know, there's all kinds of things. And then there's a bunch of murders within the hip hop industry where his name is popping. I think he has a major problem. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, what would you do? If I was him, he's got a ton of money. Listen, there was lawsuits from women and whatever. So I, I heard another lawyer, he's a brilliant lawyer. He said, he must be, he must have hidden all that stuff because he's had a problem for about four months with, and he's probably not stupid. So he probably realized that anytime I better hide all this stuff that I have. And he made all those videos and things because he wanted to use that. In other words, let's say he gets a politician who comes in and he has sex with a 16 year old kid, 15, 16 year old kid. So he has that. And now he puts pressure on him. He, can, he makes all kinds of moves. He's blackmailing people. But now he's, because he's caught with all that stuff. Now, will it ever come out? I don't know. Will they kill him like they killed that guy? What's his Epstein. name? Who? Epstein. Epstein in a prison cell. Will they kill him? Mm. Shut it down a little bit? How high we is said that. I don't know. I think we said that too. Y'all remember we said that on the live stream. We was like, damn. I was like, damn. I don't think Diddy cut out to be doing 30, 60 years. I don't think he built for that. I'm like, damn. He might end up doing, you know, or if certain things start coming out, he might end up like Epstein. We said the same exact thing or slitting his wrist like, uh, like um, what you call him at the end of Godfather in the bathtub? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn! I don't think the boy is built for that. You know what I'm saying? Built for thirty or, or thirty to sixty years. Y'all can go subscribe to uh, All Access, um, or y'all can go to Sammy Gavano's page and, and subscribe over there. Um, but this is all under fair use. I had to, you know, get this reaction from him real quick. So, so as you know, uh. Stevie J had posted some uh videos from the party. This this how Diddy parties is he popping or whatever. So uh let's get in, let's see this real quick. See what you talking. All right, so this is just you know uh footages from Diddy's parties or whatever. But yeah, but this ain't the party party though, Stevie J. You posting the the party but you ain't you ain't showing the party party we all know diddy got special party parties that he invite people to <laughs> this is this look like all surface level party yeah you know i mean jay-z kanye there the normal the normal niggas that be at these parties the normal niggas and the, the normal females that be at all these parties these is the surface level parties nigga Where's the party? We you talking about the party party is what people talking about. The freak off joints. 
Uh, same niggas there. Yep. Same niggas there. I think, is that Kobe? Yep. Snoop. Dre. Mary J. Uh, I ain't play the music because it's for copyright purposes, y'all. So, yeah, the weekend. Yeah, I you know I came across this video on Instagram. The comedian roaster Geisha three hundred five posted of Wendy Wendy Williams been exposing this stuff, bro. Like she's been exposing this stuff since like the early two thousands. You know what I mean? And I, this clip right here is from where Wendy had somebody on the show from the industry and they was talking about all these niggas being Masons and, you know, they going through the, you know, they got to go through the booty, the booty hole rituals and all that. Like, uh, these niggas like trans, they like trannies and all that. This is all alleged. Okay. Let's get into this real quick. This, is, I think this is from one of, um, Wendy Williams radio joints. So I think this was 2000, might have been 2004. This had to be because that's the rented around the time she was on the radio. So let's go and get into this. Now we're getting to the crux of things. What are you saying? Because I know Masons and I know guys whose fathers are Masons and they've aspired to be Masons. And and I, I briefly know the Eastern Star is an Eastern Star supportive of the homosexuality by way of partaking in lesbianism? Both. Okay. Turning dudes out and all kinds of things. Let's get to Let's it. start naming names. What do you mean? Jay-Z. Huff. Huff. 50. Russell Simmons. Where you want to go with this thing? I'm not surprised. Keep going. I'm, I'm flinching. I'm, I'm poofing up my hair, everybody, in I that mean, way of saying, look, he's not saying anything new to me. Go ahead, world. Exactly. All them dudes, man. All them dudes, but... Ja Rule in 50, what's uh, that all about? Wow. You know they beefing over a home. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, keep talking. Yeah, they beefing over a home. <laughs> is is this a transvestite? I wouldn't know. Okay. I wouldn't know. I don't get that deep into it. But you know the world come back to me. Because you know people want to expose them. You know how the homies <laughs> do. When you're trying to be on the down low, they're going to blow you. I get the calls all the time. Don't get into it. But that's what's kidding. going on. Now, as far as with the Masons go. LL Cool right. Jack? He's one of the big ones. Okay. He's huh? the first one on Death look. Jam doing his thing and look, all that. Look, look, nothing new Yeah, blow, exactly. Cut, yeah, uncover it all. So Russell um, being king of Death Jam, and I've always looked at Def Jam and the artists. But okay, listen, listen. Only thing you have to do is pay attention to the way these dudes look. Okay. These dudes is grown men. How you running around in all these videos and all that and you don't got no facial hair? That's because they're imitating the people that built the pyramids. Let's if you look at it. them dudes throwing up the dynasty sign, okay. they throwing up the dynasty sign, that's a diamond. The di the pyramid is actually a diamond. Right. Half is up top. Right. And half is down low. Right. Yeah, this is Yeah, but they perverted all these signs, bro. Cause these Jones, these these signs is originally from Africa. These are a a ancient African symbols, bro, that have been perverted by people throughout the hit throughout history that came along and robbed all the knowledge from Egypt and turned and made it and made it into their own and created all these different idols and, and all that. Cause these, these signs and symbols at its origin was just based off of nature. So when it started getting into other people, other cultures and other hands, that's when they start doing different weird stuff with it and creating Baphomets and all these weird symbols and signs to, to, to go along with their culture. But at the origin and all this, none of this stuff was even evil at the at the origin of all this because it didn't it didn't even mean the same of what people think it means today. It don't even mean the same. It's not even the same meaning. They watered it all down. So I, I don't be agreeing with that when they be saying these signs is of the Illuminati and all that. Man, they they took ancient African symbols and perverted it. That's what they did. What this is what these dudes represent, but they really don't know what they're following. They're really really lost. Like. The devil is really fooling these people. They really don't understand what they're following. They're just soldiers and puppets for the bigger people. Let's and if you and going. if you pay attention to what's going on, like they're really trying to step in into the Muslim world what with their music saying? and all that. You see these dudes now in videos, all in all in deserts and all that on camels and stuff. You understand? Yes. Exactly. R. Kelly. Come on now. Okay. I mean, he's a puppet. So they trying to, you know, get into the Muslim world. Clive Davis. Exactly. They trying to get into the Muslim world and, you know, and corrupt our world. And they and, and it's not just being used on that level. I mean, even up to the president. 
All right, let's look at it this way. Right. Oh, what are you saying? That the president is down? Of course. I mean, he called the shots. Mm. Him and his secret, him and his little circle. Yeah. He calls the shots. And what's wrong with women? I mean, what are we, lepers? I, mm. I, I, I don't understand. What do you think comes first? The urge to be down? Or the joining of the organization and finding out what you have to do to be down. Let's get this to is it. What, this is what it is. Right. A lot of these do. They just want, they want a few dollars. Right. So they don't really understand what's going on. Right. A lot of them right now wish that they couldn't, that wish that they didn't have to go that way. World is in the... See, according to all the celebrities that came out about the industry, they saying there's a hazing phase you got to go through. And you kind of got a glimpse of that on MTV. Um, um, the band, when they had... You know the band walk all the way to Brooklyn from Manhattan for cheat to for cheesecake. Yeah, you know I mean that's like some just surface level hazing that 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 happened, and it's no different from a college fraternity. Yeah, you know I'm saying um, you got to go through a haze phase. First of all, you got to be a, a, a person of of trust that could be trusted to be even inside those circles, because you you know these niggas is coming around and strangers, like you don't know who's who. So you're going to put them to the test. That's what any type of organization you join, they're going to put you to the test. You know what I mean? So I, if you don't, if we already know, man. Studio, everybody, I believe that too. I be, I've always said there's there's born and then, you know, you're, you're down and then there's turned out for things, whether it's money or fame or whatever. Let's get to it. Exactly. And I, there, there. Um, all right, we can. All right, let's look at this. Puffy Mace. Exactly. You know why Mace left? You they got me. dudes faking their deaths and all kinds of things. Like this is this is really crazy. Exactly. Is Tupac alive? World. <laughs> I mean, because you said all fake right, deaths, all, all so right, I just want right, to go back. It's a movie called Wag the Dog. Dustin Hoffman and Robert De Niro was in it. Okay. They show you in there how America fakes wars when the president is about to go through a scandal. Yes. They fake a war, all Hollywood scenes, and so, you're so, so you you can be thrown off from the scandal, and then you know, you know what world? Let and when it, and, 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 and and my and, palms sweat as I talk to you. I, and when it, well, that go back into the Battle of Waterloo with Napoleon, where where the Rothschilds are funding both sides of the war, and you know, manipulating the stock market. Yeah, you know I mean, crashing it and buying up everything's on penny pennies for a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that they this they've been doing this throughout history. It's nothing new. It's time, and when it's time for the like, whoever the Hollywood producer they using or whatever, or the people's involved, right? They gotta go. You know they gotta go. They so gotta, where is Tupac? Who knows? Maybe he thinks he's in paradise. But he's you, not here on Earth anymore. I'm asking you, is Tupac dead? I wouldn't know. I okay. wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if he's here on Earth anymore. But from what I can see, was Tupac getting down? From of course. From what I can see, from what I can see, he's around. He's around. He's around, and a few other people. But um, who? <laughs> Biggie. <laughs> No, um, was Biggie? I don't, I don't, I don't. Me, that's that's. I, was, look, was, uh, uh, hey, hey, you know, know what? what? I mean, was he about to expose it? What was going? On? This nigga Damian World was exposing all that you know, on Wendy Williams show. I remember this, uh, John too. I ain't heard it in a long time, so now just coming back, you know, refreshly hearing it. This nigga was on it, just talking and talking, going on, going spelling it all, wasn't he? Oh, no, we, I mean. you and I, or not you and I, I'm pointing to Art. Art. We've talked about for ages, but I'll tell you what, I was always saying, not big, not big, not big, not big, not big. Oh, man. All right, let's, let, let, let's. Would Big be with Bad Boy if he was alive today? No. I didn't think so. No, he was trying to do his own thing. Why well, would be involved in this and be under somebody? You used to do um, a lot of hanging out in Los Angeles. You lived out there for a moment of your life? No. Okay, did you bodyguard Eve? Did you, what was your affiliation with Shark? Ha, ha, ha. Nothing. I don't even know that guy. Okay. Well, this is why I'm glad to have you in here. Wow, you are. These are, these are rumors. Well, if y'all haven't, man, make sure y'all come over here at the night and day netmarket.com and pick up the bottle of Zeolite. Everything's on pre order. We will be shipping everyone's orders out this week uh, coming up. I mean, your orders will be going out. So shout out to y'all that came through and supported, supported the shop. Yeah, I mean, make sure you read the reviews on all the Zeolite. You know I mean, all the reviews on the zeolite and see how it's helping people um if you're looking for a great detox to clean yourself out uh, zeolite is the, definitely the best you know i suggest if you're not familiar with zeolite go do your research on it and you'll find out 
all the information you need about zeolite um you can go to the nih.gov uh, website they have done scientific studies on it um our studies is based off anecdotal studies of people that have been taking it for a while and how it's been helping them um i've been taking it ever since we uh came into this product and it definitely cleans you cleans you out um i suggest you drink a lot of water with this as well because it's gonna it's gonna empty you out it's gonna clean you out um if you haven't tried our natural oils and body set uh body uh oils and soaps natural soap herbal soaps make sure y'all come over here and pick up you know what i mean and get you uh some soaps and um body oils we have all types of different um soaps that attack with different things different situations you know what i mean yeah uh, so on that note man it's your boy jr curry and i'm up out of here peace <laughs>